Kum lana blad kemora. Today's daf is daf lamed zayin amid alos. I might have to uh, travel urgently to New York later tonight, so um, if we have time, we'll do a second daf this morning. Keep you all posted. We're up to the mission now. We're going to introduce this this prohibition called chadash, which we mentioned last time, and that is uh, actually not finished. Rosh Hashanah zayinam and we did part of the gemara. So we're going to see that there's actually a big controversy regarding Chodesh. Chodesh is the new crop that grew after the second day of Pesach, and it's forbidden to eat until the following year, second day of Pesach, when you bring the carbon oimer. Just want you to say that um, that um, the Baal Shem Tov said that every tzaddik before they pass away, they uh, cool down the Gehenim for a day so that the tzaddik can go into the Gehenim and take his, his Talmidim out of Gehenim and bring them with him to Gan Eden. But when the bay, when the bay is chodesh, the bay the Bach, Abiel Sirkish passed away. Vashantu said, for a month prior to his passing away, they shut the Gehenim down. And, and what what unbelievable schus did he have? Because he found a het for the world that are not careful with chodesh. Most people in the world are not in in chutzlars, are not particular about chodesh, even though the halach and the gemara is that his chodesh is in, is in chutzlars as well. So we rely on a Bach. Who found a heter to, and he found a heter to basically take a sin away from Kali Yisrael, and that's the greatest chus. Dalter brings down Shulchan Aruch. There's no time. I'm able to talk about time. Let's do the Gemara. The Gemara is of Lamed Zayin and Aleph, and we're talking about mitzvahs. That um, how do we understand the Mishnah? So we said basically mitzvahs that, that that have to do with associated with agriculture, limited to Israel, mitzvahs which are not associated with agriculture. Chayv Zaguf, they're everywhere. And fascinating what we learned yesterday about tefillin. Sending about further, about eight lines on the top. How do we know? How do we know this? He just said, Torah, what we learned. It says in the Pasik, says in the Pasik, these are the, the ordinances of Mishpatim, the laws that you should all keep. So, this is how we're going to break up the Pasik. These are the laws. These are all the things that we learn out from the Torah. And when we say Mishpatim, these are the dinim straight out. Ashatishman that you have to watch a Zoom Mishnah that what that these this is, means learning that because it brings you to to activities. Lasa is to do Zumasa, that's my sin. And then the Pasik says, but or it's in Israel, in the land of Ajasron. Yahu call it cool, you know you know about it. We would think that all the mitzvahs are only limited to Ajasron. Tamalaimer, therefore the Pasik continues and says, Call Hayamim all the days you should observe these mitzvahs all the days, Ashat and Chaim don't be living in this world, which means wherever you are. If all the days all the mitzvahs are applicable and prevalent everywhere, it's limited to throw. How's it work? You have one pasuk that includes the entire world, and one pasuk that limits it to Israel. So which, which mitzvahs are where? So go ahead and learn from the general subject of the, that pasuk. What's the pasuk talking about? The, the next few pasuk we're talking about. You should go ahead and destroy and decimate all the places of, of, of idol worship. All the places Asher of the Shabbat are served. Come to idol worship. This is an, a, a, a live, um, transgression that devolves on every individual person on the little land. The is being but other makes sense where you are. I've called you a goof. The same thing is any other mitzvah which is similar, which is a devolves on a person. No heg is being but other applies to edges all and the chutzlaritz. Interesting. The Gemara says that we would have thought that all mitzvahs of chutzlaritz are not from the Torah. There's a fascinating Rashi in Pashas Re'i that the Rashi says over there that why do we do mitzvahs and chutzlaritz? Tzionim, that we should remember what mitzvahs are like. In other words, exactly, from that Rashi, which is a Sifri, sounds like that it's like we're doing it all only uh, uh, like a means to an end. Not the end is the mitzvah itself, but the end is too. So when we're back in Israel, when Mashiach will come, we'll know how to observe mitzvahs, which is an amazing Rashi. And then doing the rest of the Taka. To that Rashi. A difficulty with this Gemara is that this the mitzvah of Abe Tavdun, not the Avoid itself, but the destruction of Avoid is limited only to Etzisro. It's not only Etzisro. Because, you know, in Chutzlats, you don't destroy Avoid Zorah, only Etzisro. Like La Havdu, what they did over there, they, 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 they destroyed all those uh, in Afghanistan, all those uh, sacred sites. It's only to throw. So we're not actually learning from Abba to Abdun, but we're going further and say, look, the centrality of that is it's talking about Abba Yazar, and Abba is applicable everywhere. Take it further. The Mishnah then says, 
So now we're going to focus on the second part of the mission. It says the mission, uh, what is not limited to HSRL, even though it has to do with agriculture, Arla, the first three years of growth, it applies everywhere. And the question is, is that Mahatoida everywhere, only Midrabanan? Or Halach, as we'll see. And Klayim, Klay Academy, of grapes growing together with a, with a vegetable there, that is called Klayim, and it is forbidden. And again, that is also applicable in Chutzla Arts. Maybe Midrabanan, but it's applicable. Rabbi Le'ezer says also Chadash. Now, we're not sure if Le'ezer also Chadash is, is continuing the Chutz. A third exception is that Chadash is applicable all over the world. Or is Rabbi Le'ezer uh, the other way around? Rabbi Le'ezer is saying that, that you say that Chadash is maybe only, uh, what do you call it? Is, 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 only, is, is all over the world. And I'm telling you, the Chadash is limited to only to Israel. Chadash is going back to the first part. That mitzvah is to do with agriculture, limited Israel. I also agree that Chadash should be at Israel, not like you think it's everywhere. Let's see the, how the Gemara learns. Our question is, is he trying to be lenient on the Kambas, trying to say that Chadash applies everywhere? And and Rabbeleza is arguing, say that what? That it's only applicable to Israel. It goes the other way around. The Tanakam is saying that Chodesh is limited to Israel, and Rabbeleza is being machmer, and Chodesh supplies everywhere. Um, Pali, how do we now, now explain how we learn the Mishnah either way? If we're saying that Lechum Republic is coming to be strict, how do This is how you read the Mishnah. Tanakama, the Tanakama is saying, Chutz mina Orlum and Akayim. Orlum and Akayim are exceptions that why they're prevalent, even Chutz Laris. The Hilchas of Gemirla. Why? Why Kakir Lechayd is to do with agriculture? It's a the Halacha Lemoisha Messina. You can argue it to do with the land. Avel Chodosh, but Chodosh is by Eretz in the Chutz Lai. In Chodosh, Luchayda is not part of the Chutz. In other words, Chodosh is limited to Eretz Yisrael. My timer, why is Chodosh limited to Eretz Yisrael? Because by, by Chodosh, it says, um, and there's two ways of reading Mimoshvoiseichem. One place of Seichem is when you move into Eretz Yisrael, when you live in Eretz Yisrael, and therefore after you settle. It was seven years of war and seven years of distributing the land. So that's called Yer- Yerushiva Yeshiva. And after Yeshiva, after you settled in, that's when the mitzvah kicks in. Not like Chala that we know. As soon as they came to Yisrael, they were Chayv and Chala. Yes, you had to wait 14 years. So therefore, we're talking about limited to that Yisrael. That's one way. Or another way of learning what you is wherever you live, wherever the Eden live, doesn't matter where you are. So they're going to learn my time. And he's going to understand what does it mean that um, it means only to tell you that don't, and not as soon as you enter to Israel, but rather when you settle down 14 years later. That's all. Um, <clears throat> mashma and so, but limited to Eretz Yisrael. But also, Rabbi Lozer Lemeim comes along. Rabbi Lozer says, "Af Chodesh Noig Bein Bar Chutz Laris." No, I disagree with you. I'm being machbe. Chodesh applies Chutz Laris as well, just like Klaim and Orla, Orla and Klaim. My time of what I do with the word Moishiv. Moishiv means Bechamaka the Yishim, wherever you, wherever you are. I don't know. Perhaps the Kula Poli, or maybe the other way around. The, the, maybe Rabbi Lozer being lenient. This is how good. The Tanakamba says, Chutzman Arla, the climb. The Tanakamba only mentions Arla, the climb doesn't mention Chadish because it doesn't have to. Why not? It doesn't have to. Arla, the climb, even though you would think it's limited to Israel, I'm telling you it's prevalent everywhere. The Hechasaki Middle of Allah, Homer Sinai. Of the Chos Kain Chadish. Surely Chadish applies the Chutzla to why? Because it says Moshe. And what does Moshe mean? Call Mokim Sha'atim Yeshim Mash, wherever you live. The Tanakamba doesn't mention Chadish because it's obvious. And he's being machmed. The host of Abelaz the Mehmet, Abelaz being lenient, says, No, Chadish ain't no gala but orders. Chadish is only limited to Israel. The Moshev la'acha Yerusha b'shiva mashma. Abelaz is being lenient means after the 14 years. I would mean af also. Akamaisa. Af means that he's continuing with the beginning of Mishnah. You said all mitzvah to do with the land is limited to Israel. Don't forget to include the Chadish in that as well. Which one is it? Toshma coming here. Don't bother by. He said, "My time to bother with Rabbi Who's arguing? Who's the Tanakam here? Who's arguing with Rabbi He said that he nominated Bishmoli. And what do we know about that Bishmo? The time we little lambda Rabbi Shmo says they have a discussion of Bishmo and Rabbi Akiva as to whether there was Nesachim. You have a bomb as similar to the bomb as Yachid. Uh, uh, um, no, even even though in the midbar they brought the sochim, the question is if an pr- individual brought a carbon, did they bring the sochim for individual carbonus in the midbar as well, or only once they started at Yisrael? And in at Yisrael they had bombas tibur, you know, while um, that, um, and then you had a bombas yachid. Everyone, and the Mishkan wasn't up and running yet. Everyone had in their own backyard a little bomb and they brought their own carbonus. And then you had the bombas tibur, and the question is whether they brought the sochim in the midbar for bombas yachid, and, and and also in the first years. Rabbi Shmuel says as follows. 
When it comes to the Sochim, it says, Moshe, um, when did we have the Sochim? Only Bomas Tibas Abishmo. Not for Bomas Yochim, not for private Kabonis. The Potsdam says, Ashani Noisen Lachem, Ani Lachem is a Bomas Tibas. Bomas Yochim is something every, every individual did their own thing. <clears throat> Um, when did Nesachim kick in for uh, for individual kabbalists? Only after the 14 years. Only So he learns that Moshe means what? Only limited to Eretz Yisrael. And only what Moshe means after the 14 years. And 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 Rabbi and 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 Rabbi says that the Rabbi, the Rabbi Loza argues Rabbi Shmuel. I mean Rabbi Loza, Rabbi, Rabbi the Tanakama holds that Moshe means limited to Israel. So what's Rabbi Loza saying? That Moshe means everywhere. So Rabbi Loza is being machmir. I'm going to keep in this bright silver way. Rabbi Kiva says, "Had a Shabbos. What about Shabbos? Should never buy my Shabbos. Says you should keep Shabbos in all my shosech in all your areas. And yet when I hang is made a lot of you see what he tell me. My Shabbos means limited to Israel, but after 14 years." Shabbos, nothing to do with 14 is years. Exactly. So what's the name of Shabbos? Wherever you are. Unbelievable. So Rabbi Shemuel says back, you know why Shabbos is different? We, over there, we know obviously it applies everywhere. She says, Shabbos, Mekavu Chayim and Asya. Ma mitzvah is kalos. Ma they have lighter mitzvahs. Is no heges, bein ba'adez, bein b'chut la'adez. Shabbos, chamid al-koshke. Surely Shabbos, Victor, you keep everywhere. No, because remember we said before this, the, 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 the crux of the argument is how do we understand the word Moshe? Is Moshe limited to Surah but 14 years later? Or does Moshe mean wherever you live? Since Rabbi Shmuel is a Tanakhama and he's the one who said that by Nasachim, Moshe means limited to Surah but 14 years later. And so, therefore, and Rabbi Laz, and Rabbi Laz argue with that. What does Rabbi Laz hold? That that Moshe does not mean to Israel; it means everywhere. So, and therefore, he holds that Chodesh, which is, uh, means everywhere. Look, Chumrah. Shmamina says the Gemara. Let's not focus on the rice he just brought. Met the Bishmora hechad koy. What's the Bishmora arguing here, Rabbi Kiva? On the Sochim, the By the Sochim, there's one more word besides Moshe. It says beer. By Nesachim, it says, when you have two words here. Clearly, Savoyu when you arrive, so therefore, maybe when does a Bishmal argue that you, you say it's limited to Israel when it says Kisavoyu, clearly talking about your destination, finalization, and Moshe Seichem? But maybe the word Moshe alone on its own, maybe means wherever you live. How can I buy you know put the two together? So the mother maybe only be your Moshe Sibu. Only because it says both words, be and Moshe. <clears throat> but if it says Moshe alone, maybe it means anywhere where you live. So the mother uh Le Lame Chikom Mok is never me Moshe ain't the El Achi Rush Mall. Maybe that's what it means. When that all Bishmol means to say is how do you know from there to go on to uh to Khadash and all these other things? You Abaya compared Khadash. To the dinner of Rabbi Shmuel by Nesachim, but by Nesachim there it says it says clearly in the pasuk Ki Savayu when you will arrive, and then it says also Moshe. Uh, but over here, because it doesn't say by Chodesh, all it says Moshe Seichem. Maybe Rabbi Shmuel also would agree that it's anywhere. That's what we're asking on the bayit, right? You understand? So the Gemara high notes Moshe on its own. So the Gemara maybe in the Yerushim Shiv Rabbi Shmuel only there. He says, he's going to back. No, it can't be. Because if so, then what's Rabbi Kiva telling him back? What's his question? By Shabbos, it says, It doesn't say any wiki savoyu. Rabbi Kiva is saying, Oh, what about Shabbos? should be limited to Eretz Yisrael. Yeah, if the whole virtue of Yishmael is, if it says only the, if it says when you arrive and my Shabbos, it means that Yisrael after 14 years. So what's Rabbi what's Kiva asking a question from Shabbos? Shabbos is a Kabul Chaymin. Namely, and at first, what's Rabbi Kiva's question? Yeah, and Rabbi Shmuel should have answered back. What, what are you asking me for Shabbos for? There it says my Shabbos. Maybe Rabbi Kiva misunderstood Rabbi Shmuel, but Rabbi Shmuel should have answered back. He should have said, He should have said, What are you asking me a question? I'm talking about where it says both, be and Moshe, but, but Moshe on its own is anywhere. Says he, what are you right? That's not that's the most part of the question. Maybe maybe Shmuel was telling him two things. First of all, the I'm not being a Moshe. What do you ask me, Kasha from Shabbos for? Um, when I say it's limited to the throne, only when it says the positive when you arrive and when you settle. Okay, that's a throw. 
So therefore, what does it do with Shabbos? But apart from that, even if you, even if we're just saying we're Meishiv, the Karmel had a Shabbos and Shabbos, but Shabbos, I want you to know, because Shabbos is different. Kabu Chaimiri. So therefore, it's, we can argue that maybe this is not the same thing. But the point, Abaya definitely learns that Bishmol and Tanakam are saying the same thing. So according to Abaya, definitely that I in the Mishnah is being mach. We're just saying that it's not necessarily so. Says the Gemara, the Maikim Ifli. So what exactly is the crux of the argument between Rabbi Kiva and Rabbi Shmuel? As Gemara says, they're arguing the Kibbu Nesachim and Midrash Mifli. They're what are they arguing is about in to throw whether they brought. You know, right away or fourteen years later, the the, the, the for private kabbanas. What's it? What's the, what's, Let's go back a little bit. What are they really arguing? In? They're arguing in the midbar itself. What happened? Rabbi Shmuel saw about the kibbutz of midbar. Rabbi Shmuel says I did not bring the sachem midbar. Um, I mean, the what they they brought, of course, the carbon timber. They brought the sachem, the libations, but they did not bring the sachem, the libations, when an individual person brought a carbon. Uh, whatever, shlom and all that, they did not bring the libations with it while they were in the midbar. Only when they came to Ejisro. Mm-hmm. Only after they arrived 14 years later. And Rabbi Kiva saw, Rabbi Kiva saw the midbar. Rabbi Kiva holds, no, in the midbar they're already brought. So why would you limit 14 years if they already brought it before while they were in the desert? So that's what the argument is. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um... And I, what the trader said when you arrive in Sachim meant now you're going to do your own private bombers. Over there, also, you can bring the Sachim. In the bombers, Tibur, Akiva says, in the midbar, they're already brought. So when they came into the, they built the, you know, when they came to, uh, to saw the little Gilgal, they had a Mizbech, bombers, Tibur, of course, they brought the Sachim for any carbon, regardless of private or public. The, um, the, uh, when the trader says, when you come to Israel, you start doing the Sachim, we're talking about if you have one in your backyard, and there was a time period they're allowed to have in the backyard. The first 14 years is when there's no Mishkan. Once the Shilai was up, you couldn't. Remember, we had all Gemara there. Once they had already had you know, set up the proper Michigan, it was 369 years long in Shilai. They couldn't bring a, uh, you know, their own private backyard. But the 14 years before, the period when they were allowed to have a Bama Ziyachit, bring the Sachit. That's what the title tells you. But on a Bama Sibir, on the Mizbech, whichever they used, they were always bringing. The Mibar also they brought, even a private Kabbalah. Tell you what, Omar Abai Abai says, "Hi, Tanu Rabbi Shmuel, mapping me, Rabbi Shmuel. You should know that two Tanoim arguing what Rabbi Shmuel says. The Tanu of Rabbi Shmuel. So before we said Rabbi Shmuel, hold you need Yerusha fourteen years to wait, right? You have to wait the seven years and the seven years before they settle down, and then you start doing it. The other Tanu Rabbi Shmuel hold differently. The other Tanu Rabbi said the following. <clears throat> um, uh, say it like this. <clears throat> In other words." The first Tanda Rebbe Shmo, the one that we just learned, is established 14 years, but maybe only where it says Bia and Moshe. Because it said by, by Nusachim, Toma Nusachim, it says when you arrive in Israel and you settle in. Okay, so the first Rebbe Shmo seems to hold, maybe we more, the way you more asked, that maybe we tackle where it says Bia and Moshe, that's the only time you have to wait 14 years. But if it says only Moshe, like by Shabbos, it's everywhere. Right? So not like by Chodesh, but the second Rabbi Shmuel is the following. Hi, Tan Rabbi Shmuel, mapping Rabbi Shmuel, Tan Rabbi Shmuel, Hoyu and Nemer. It says be as betayda stam. Forget about Nusachim. It says the betayda stam be when you arrive. Who part of the mechalach in Yeshiva? By one of them, it says after uh, let's say by a king, it says Kisavil already come to the land, and then it says when you rush to be a shaftabot. That's after fourteen years. I've called Acha Yerusha Meshiva everywhere else where after you settle down and Yeshiva. So, everywhere else where it says just beer, even just be alone, it means wait 14 years. Says the Gemara. So, what about the first part of Ishmael? Here, the first of Ishmael says you need beer and Yerusha. Be alone doesn't do it. Here we say this is Tarish Mall that be alone does it because we learn from Melech. It says Melech you, when you come. Then it says we rashtab shaftaba. And we try to equate anywhere the trader says when you arrive in Israel, it doesn't mean immediately, it means wait 14 years. What's going on here? You have the posse by a king, but you also have by a bikurim. It says when you arrive at Israel, and it says they're also after Yerusha and Yeshiva. So we see we have to, when we learned before when you have two psukim telling you the same thing it means it's limited to that. So only those two places where it says beer when you arrive it means wait fourteen years. Everywhere else it can mean immediately. Uh, so the first Rabbi Shmuel says no. 
be alone doesn't do it. You need to be uh, together with you, with the, your uh, with Moshe. Uh, he says it's not it's not two psukim telling you the same thing. You need possibly by Melech, you need a possibly by by Bakudim to wait 14 years. Really be on its own is a straight away. I um why over here why over here is for um what do you call it? 14 years? Why by Melech it says and, and other places it says to tell you that um that, that each one of them is necessary to tell you. So therefore don't tell me to limit it onto that. It goes as follows. Um, but the ikas, uh, this is the second mishmar. The ikas of Rachman and Melech would have said only the possibly by king. Well, loim ikas bikurim would not have said by bikurim. How many would have thought bikurim to come is ani lauta? As soon as they start growing, they already have the benefit. Why shouldn't they stop bikurim? Why wait fourteen years? Why wait fourteen years? So therefore, to say by bikurim, wait fourteen years. Ikas bikurim, like as Melech told you, bikurim should wait fourteen years. Have a mina Melech the darker lechabish a king he. That's what he does. He goes to war. He conquers. La alter. We need him straight away. So maybe straight away, you should uh, you should go ahead and, and follow the rules of, of a king. Therefore, you should make a king straight away. So you should lead them. They're going. What's the purpose of a king? To lead them to war. And isn't that what they're doing right now? They're going to war seven years and they're stripping the land. So therefore, we need Bob Sukim. And because we need Bob Sukim, it's not redundant. And therefore, we can compare it to everything else. And that's why the second uh, Torah Rebbe Shmuel learns that wherever it says the word arrival to Israel, it means. It, it means it means no. It means fourteen years. Because says Yerashta, once it told you by Melech when you arrived at Yisrael, then it says Yerashta Yishafta. Yerashta means you, uh, you have to go to war, and Yishafta means settle fourteen years. Whatever it says, so uh, we arrive at Yisrael, it doesn't mean straight away. It means fourteen years. I we have it by two sukkim, two places, the Kurim and Melech. So it means limited to that. Everything else is straight away. He says no. It applies to everywhere. You, you had to say Melech, because we would have thought on our own that Melech would start straight away, or we would have thought on our own because it starts right away. They repeat it twice, but it's not, it's not, it's not redundant. And therefore, we compare, uh, we compare everything to Melech as soon as you arrive. The first Abishmo says no, that when, uh, that uh, when it says, uh, uh, what do you call it? when it says beer, it, it, it means straight away. It's only when it says beer and Moshev that you have to wait fourteen years. Says the Gemara. The Edas. So, what's the other person going to say? What's the first one going to say? Good point. The Chayde. You have a pasuk that tells you that Bia means wait fourteen years. So, how come the first Rebbe Shmuel says you need Bia and Moshev to tell you wait fourteen years? The of Hachi. If it would have said this, have a mean immediately to have a chala. That I, by challah, everyone agrees when it says in Parsha Shlach that when you arrived at Yisro, it says Bibi Achem, when you arrived at Yisro, that what? It means as soon as you come to Yisro, you don't wait 14 years. Because normally it says Kisavoyu, when you arrive. Maybe when you arrive means when you settle. It says Bibi Achem, on the way of coming in. Bibi Achem is much more um, like a, uh, what's it what called? Like a present tense, uh, present participle, what is it called? As soon as, as, as you're coming in, do the challah. So therefore, um, Therefore, Kamash Rulam, that's why I come to teach you that no, that normally Kisavoyu means uh, that's why by a king and everything else it has to tell you what We would have thought by a king also you should, uh, you should, um, what do you call it? Start by, um, by king also. It says over there also by a king. So we would have, uh, sorry, it says Kisavoyu, we would have thought by a king, maybe maybe we should compare to Khalid. So that's why you need by a king to tell you what Rashi Yishafta, not to tell you the, to, to, um, what do you call it? to learn from everywhere else that the word boy be alone means that it means 14 years. Says the Gemara, the hash is on the Now that you tell me, now that you tell me that no heg is bane, but other just rub him for slaughter at night. I mean, any mitzvah which involves another person is everywhere. Moshe goes on to have a shabbos. Why do you have to say Moshe have a shabbos? Why does it say Moshe have a shabbos? It's like we need it. Salke that I mean, I would have thought. Hoyel when you are the mighty receiver, I would have thought that since Shabbos is written, that uh, uh, amongst all the Yom Tovim, which the Elam Moed Hashem Lovan talks about Shabbos, six days you should keep, and seven day you know, six day you work, and seven day you rest. So Shabbos is brought down between Elam Moed. What do we know about all Yom Tovim? We know about all Yom Tovim. Um, that you have to wait for the Besan to declare as Yom Tov. So we would have thought Shabbos like Yom Tov. Every Friday, the Besan had to declare that Shabbos is the Shabbos. How you'll be on the Moedic? See, but Tibayi, Kiddush, I would have thought that why did you need a Besan to go ahead and declare that it's uh, that it's Shabbos? Kamash Rolan Moshe, wherever you live, the uh, Kamash Rolan. Come to teach you, wherever you live, 
Not my shot. Come on, full stop. Wherever you are, it's Shabbos. Exactly. Mekatsu Mekayma, all on its own. Says the Gemara. Moshe, because I'm going to go with Chelim Adam. So why does it say the word Moshe by Chelim Adam? But by Kabbana, it says that the Chelim Adam is forbidden. It says Bechle Doyra Seichem forevermore. Bechol Moshe Seichem wherever you live. Why do you have to say my Shabbos there? And it says, you shouldn't need any Why does it have to say Moshev there? Since the mitzvah that evolves on a person, automatically it applies all over the world, as you just established. Why do you have to tell me again, Moshev? It's if we need it. I would have thought this is different. I would have thought, I would have thought since it's written by Karbonus, I would have thought, maybe when is the Easter of Chelim Adam only during the period of Karbonus? When there's no carbon, no. Come to tell you that no. Moshev, that is it's, it's forever and wherever you live. Moshev, the cause of Chmane Gabi Matzah, it says, Bechol Moshev, Seichem, Teichel Matzah. What does it tell me that? If it's a mitzvah that evolves on a person, automatically it's everywhere. Again, Sadr Nambar thought, Hoyo, the cause that says, Al Matzah, and Muroidim Yochlu, they should eat together the carbon. I would have thought, it's not like a Pesachim, it's not like a Pesachim, like a Pesachim, comes to tell you that Moshev, wherever you live, whenever you live, you always have to eat Matzah. Bia, the cause of Chmane Gabi Tfilin, by Tfilin it says, when you have Hoyo Kriyach, and a Petach Hamar, you know, it says Why does it say when you come? Normally, these are mitzvahs that are chayvus aguf, so they apply everywhere. So why do you have yeah. to re- relate it to what you throw? The most interesting. Ahu meboyli, no need for the kedatana of Rabbi Bishmol. What the what Rabbi Shmuel students taught, and what did they teach? They taught. I say not that it's that the mitzvah kicks off when you get there. They did the mitzvah in the midbar as well. But I say mitzvah zu should bishvilot chaladets. You'll be zeichet to Eretz Yisrael. <laughs> and um, and the, and the, the Rajba writes, if I remember correctly, in, in Sakhla Shabbos, the difference between what happened by Matan Tayda, when the Abisha lifted the mountain, a couple of Hagdijis, and he said, you know, if not, and then what happened put him is that before by Matan Tayda, you do the mitzvahs, I'll give you a Jisro. You don't do the mitzvah, you lose a Jisro. What happened was by because they were forced into it, so it had to be a bar or a deal. Okay. What happened by putting is we accepted it, so it's no longer one thing dependent on the other. <laughs> so that's why in the beginning it was thrown out of it, just so everything else because they do mitzvahs. And uh, <laughs> that the Algemara says, Phil in a And yeah, but, yeah, but, but the Abish said the Petachamay also somehow or another is a special schus. Um, that, that's why you'll say that just wrong. And the, and the Rajma takes it further to all mitzvahs at that time. If Moshe means wherever you live, not in Eretz Yisrael, but after 14 years, but wherever you live, that's what, that, that's what explained the whole argument regarding Chadash. What does Moshe mean? Does it mean everywhere? Or does it mean not get to throw, but after 14 years? But one holds it means wherever you are. I know the Chesim, it says when they arrive, they, they arrive in Eretz Yisrael with Yeshua on the 10th day of Nisan. And uh, and they did. They ate the matzah the first day, Pesach, from the old crop, and the and the second day they ate the new one. In other words, you know, why? Because it was chadash. They couldn't eat the new crop because they hold that Moshe doesn't mean wait fourteen years. It means that it supplies everywhere straight away. So the chadash already kicked in, and they couldn't have to eat. They had to eat from the old tour. And then, you know, the first day of Pesach, that even the, 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 the second day of Pesach. Why? Because of Chadash. Yeah. No, but they ate from the old, not from the new. Um, why? Why is that? Because I had to wait till. Uh, no, they ate only from the second day, but Mikara, not before the second day, did they eat it. Why didn't they eat it before the second day? Because it was Chadash. And they had to wait for the new tour for Chadash. Makes sense. The one who said that Moshe means that the Easter of Chadash did not start until 14 years later, and only to Israel, but 14 years later, then Nechal Alter. Why didn't they uh, eat the, the new crop already straight away? What were they waiting for? Why only Ma'avoyed HaPesach? Interesting taste it brings here. You don't have it very often. Taste it brings here. He, at the bottom of the page, Hikshar of Rom Ebenezer. 
So he says, quotes the Ebenezer, the famous question that everyone talks about. And that is, how do you know Avara Pesach means the second day of Pesach? Maybe Avara Pesach means the first day of Pesach, the day after they brought the carbon Pesach. And we bring Sukkot that you find that a Pesach means not left after the first day of Pesach. It could also mean Ere Pesach when they brought the carbon Pesach. So they were, therefore, they did bring from the new Tfu on the first day of Pesach. What's the problem? Anyway, Taysh is asking a famous question. And he brings from Yishami, let's grant them there was an Easter Chadush. Why don't we say the mitzvah's assay of eating matzah is doicha, the loisus of eating chadash? And we know that if you have a choice, you have a choice. But here they had no choice. Says your mother, I'm sorry, so the answer to Taysh's question is, Either he says, and, and all the Achreinim and all the Yeshivas, or Yeshivas, this is like a really good couple stuff. So he answers that I say, Kaidim Matan cannot push away, uh, since Eda Toichlu Matzas was said to be eaten while they were in Mitzrayim, cannot push away an Isa of Lysa afterwards. Yeah, even though Taisa is in the beginning of third painting and Sukkah asks, What's the problem of eating Matzah of Tebel? Why don't we say that I say of uh, this pushes away the Lysa of that, and, and so on and so forth? Based on what he said over here, it's not a question because I say pace I cannot push away. But the second answer to Taysa, which is interesting in its own right, is that the, if it's I say doichalisa, it's only if you ate exactly a kazais. So you, the, the mitzvah says is a kazais. So if you ate a kazais, push away the chadr. What I mean, a little bit more than a kazais, a kazais and a half, you know, you stand and measure it. That extra half has nothing to do with the mitzvah. So gzayda kazayis sheni otu kazayis zishin. Now, everybody asks, this is the time to be sure, because they just came in later. So, the of Engel makes a collection of every single place you can find. And let me just tell you, he knew a lot of Puskin. That Gzeda started from the time of Rosh And one of the things he talks about is Gzeda de Rabba. We didn't blow Shafer on Rosh Hashanah. We're not going to mention Lulu on Sukkot. Because Rabba said, we're worried you might walk in the street. Stop shot that two Rabba's time, they. Exactly. Stop shot that two Rabba's time, they, they blew Shafer, came along Rabba said, stop. From the times of Moshe Rabbein, we're having more Shabbos that Moshe Rabbein makes Zedas. It doesn't spell out what it is. So he says that all these Zedas already happened times of Moshe Rabbeinu. What the Rabbah did was he explained the, the, the logic behind this Zedas. We didn't know why. Why shouldn't you blow Shefer as you Came along, Rabbah explained why you don't do it. Anyway, tell your mother, go have it. Someone answered, no. You know why they didn't eat They didn't eat the Chodesh yet? It wasn't necessary. Not because of it was Asr. The Isa started 14 years later. It didn't have to. Why? They had leftover man. The Chesivit said, they saw, oh, the man, I'll I'll prove it to you. How do I know that leftover man? It says that the Eden ate man 40 years at Boyim El Eres Neshavas until they arrived in the land that they're going to settle in. As a man, Ochlu, at Boyim El Eres Then it says they ate the man until they came to the very border. The first part of the puzzle sounds like Eres Neshavas when they settled in the land. In the land. The second part is when they came to the edge of the land. You can't say till they settle in the middle of the land. The end. Which, which one is it? The border or when they enter the you know the edge of Israel? Okay, so the Shiva Badr makes motion. Moshe made it pass away the seventh day of Badr. Who passed the month later? The month stopped coming down. But you must stop him. The month should be killed, and they continued eating the residue, the leftover month. And she should also until they came the sixteenth day of this. <laughs> It disappeared <laughs> except the last the last day. The last day lasted Zion other a, a month a, a, more than 30 days till the 16th day of Nisan. So that's why, not because of the Isa Khadish, they just in the they didn't need it. Okay. Tanya learned elsewhere. Why 40 years? They ate 40 years minus 30 days because Moshe Rabbeinu passed away. Now, this is the, the question Achraim asked because we always round up. Can miss for our boy? We say 40, and yet we only give 39 lashes. It says, you know, the mission says 40, Malach is only 39. It's because we round off the nearest number. So, how do you know when the trader says 40 years, they demand it wasn't 40 years? You know, it's so 39 years and, 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 and 11 months. What's bothering the Gemara? Oh, 30 days I'm missing. Did Achraim have a hard time figuring that out? Ella, Loi Malach, Uga is Shahaitzi Mitzrayim. By the way, it says it Uga is. Which is round. This is one of the reasons why people didn't want to eat machine matzahs. Chaim Sanzer writes with Chaim and others, so it has to be round. Machine matzahs are square. Um, that the ugas they took out of Mitzrayim still tasted. Whatever they took out of Mitzrayim had the taste of mud. So it lasted for more than 
you know, minus 30 days, they continued feeling the taste of money. And and then the Gemara can quickly finish the Gemara already. Tanya, you learned elsewhere. Bishiba Adam Es Moshe, why should we pass away the seventh day of Adam? And that was the mistake of uh, of Haman. Thought that he, you know, he died. It's good. It's a good omen for them. Over Bishiba Adam Noilid, that Moshe Ben was born the seventh day of Adam. How do we know? Minayin, she was Moshe. How you know they passed away the seventh day of Adam? The Shemar says, "Vayom Hashem Moshe, Eved Hashem." He passed away. Uksi, etc. You can say, "So Moshe was Moshe." They 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 mourn Moshe Ben for thirty days. Uksi, v'hai he actually Moshe Eved Hashem after he passed away. Uksi, Moshe have the mace. V'hat to come away. Hashem says to Yeshua, Moshe Ben passed away. Now it's time to cross. Uksi, Avru b'kera machne b'tiv zom leimor. Yeshua walked through the camp and he said, "Hechin lechem tzeder, prepare yourself. Keep a oish leisim tavaziyan." Three more days. So now it's thirty. Thirty-three. So that's ten days missing. Thirty-three days later, tradition. That's how we know that Moshe made it pass away seven day Vada because thirty days and three days go work your way back. Same and go backwards. He passed away the seven day Vada. Umen Ayin should be Shiva the Noel. Moshe was born the seven day Vada. She never said by Yemelim ben Meir Esim Shana Nechem. I'm 120 years old. Like Ucha Loid Lots is Vodave. I can no longer be able to lead. She ain't Tamlim Yemelim. What is it today? Ma Tamlim Yemelim. What is it today? That a tzaddik passes away the same day that he was born. As we say, today I am 120 years old. The same month. And it says, I will fill your days. So Moshe Rabbeinu, if he passed away the seven day, this is, then we know he wasn't born. Seven day of other, we know he's born then. And that's how we know that Dovah Melech passed away, you know, was born in Shrews, because he passed away in Shrews. The only other tzaddik that we know is a Mittler Rebbe. That he passed away and was born on the same day. Otherwise, very few Sadiq, as far as I know, any Sadiq that passed away or born on the same day. Only, only if you know that they passed away, we assume they were born on that same day. Okay, we'll stop over here. And um